Are heat pumps too pumped up? Good evening, I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. Heat pumps are at the center of a push to transform the way Vermonters heat their homes. The recently passed Affordable Heat Act aims to move away from fossil fuels and right now electric heat pumps are being touted as an alternative to oil and gas. There are about 30,000 heat pumps already installed around the state, but critics question whether heat pumps are affordable and whether they can meet the demands of a Vermont winter. Channel 3's Kevin Geist joins us live. Kevin, you spoke with someone who has gone a few winters using one of these. What's the word? Kat Darren, one heat pump owner I spoke to says the technology for them has worked wonders most of the year, but comes with a caveat. Even the advertised cold climate model doesn't work well when a sub-freezing Vermont cold snap rolls into the region. She's committed to the technology for climate support, but says it's hard having to decide between the climate and warmth. And they work really well. Kathy Weesey has been running two electric heat pumps on her home since 2017. Warm and humid days, they work well, and most of the winter, they do the job. But the only problem she runs into, cold snaps peppered into Vermont's winters. You know, you can run your engine at the red line, but you're harming your engine. You're asking it to do more than it really can. Weesey blew a compressor on the heat pump the first winter because of frigid sub-zero degree temperatures. Since then, when the temperature gets close to zero, she runs a backup. We turn the heat pumps off and raise the thermostat on the backup system, and then we use propane. According to WCAX's weather team, Burlington drops to zero on average about 13 times a year over the last decade. Those who install and service heat pump technology agree that during those cold snaps, Vermonters need other options. So you use it much like what a lot of people use secondary heat. That's what the heat pumps in my opinion, are more designed to do. Sean Tatro with Larry and Sons Heating Service says installation for the average home runs about $5,000 a unit. But some customers who've switched to heat pumps call him to reinstall their fossil fuel systems to use when temperatures plummet. Great for spring and fall. They're great down to 30 degrees or 20 degrees, but then they dip real fast after that. Tatro says keeping a backup heat source when the temperatures slide is recommended, and weatherization is key to these units' efficiency. Doing air sealing or having weather stripping or you know adjusting <laughs> issues with leaky windows. Efficiency Vermont agrees. Weatherization should be the first priority, but the technology is evolving, allowing the heat pumps to handle lower temperatures. But they say many Vermonters already use dual heating systems, and going forward, that shouldn't change. That That's the same sort of thing that we would recommend that people still consider as they move forward to make sure that they've got the appropriate level of heating. For Weesey, that dual method has served her well since the first compressor failure a few winters ago. And while she doesn't want to burn propane... You can't not have something. Tatro raised the concern with the passage of S5. The local fuel dealers he works with will get run out of the state. And those that can't bring on heat pumps to help heat their homes or those still relying on fossil fuels for severe cold will be hit the hardest. We see echoes that concern, but for her, it's about accessing propane if those dealers get pushed out. The bill has passed both the House and the Senate, but will likely face a veto from the governor. In the studio, Kevin Guys, Channel 3 News. Kevin, thank you.